Today, I've got 10 reassuringly expensive desk gadgets that'll help you be more productive and tidier, and some of them make great presents too. If you search for desk gadgets on Amazon, you'll be hit with a blizzard of unnecessary plastic items, stress relief toys, and cliched executive desk ornaments. Who knew, for example, that there'd be such a roaring trade in Newton's cradles? I doubt Sir Isaac himself would have predicted that 381 years later, there'd be over a thousand Amazon listings for his balls. Luckily, Newton didn't actually use his, so there are no descendants to fight over the royalties. But anyway, I've found some rather more practical things to clutter your desk with. Things you'll actually use. I'm going to kick off with a gadgety desk light. This is the L7 from Moll, the same company that made my fabulous standing desk. Now, aesthetically, I'm not sure if this would have been my first choice. It looks a bit like a medical instrument for lighting parts of your body that, well, shouldn't really be lit. But my God, it's practical. It's got a 10 watt LED light at the end of this infinitely adjustable gooseneck which makes it very easy to position the light where you want it. For example, so as not to glare on your monitor or close up or when you're fixing your watch, for example. You can also dim it just by touching the top of it there. And it also has a night light on the top, which can change color. I'm not sure how useful that is, but hey. It's also got a twin USB charger here on the stem, and the design includes somewhere that you can pop a couple of pens. The LEDs throw out 3,500 Kelvin light, which is another way of saying a warm yellow color, a bit like an incandescent light bulb, and they're apparently good for 25,000 hours, which assuming a seven hour working day is just shy of about 10 years. Now, next is one of my favorite gadgets, and it's the Lunar Artifacts mouse. I've had mine for a couple of years now, and what I really love is how they've taken a mundane, boring lump of plastic and replaced it with an aluminium or brass and leather design, which is, well, almost beautiful, if that's not stretching things a little bit for a computer mouse. The other thing I like is that where other mice start to look grubby after a couple of months, the Lunar Artifacts mouse here just develops a rather nice patina. Functionally, it's pretty unremarkable. It connects via Bluetooth or a wireless dongle, or if you've run out of battery, via a cable. It works on glass surfaces. It's got the standard two buttons and a scroll wheel, so whilst it won't match something like the Logitech's MX Master 3 with its six buttons and two scroll wheels, it's good enough for most people. You can also buy a similarly natty wireless charger to charge either your mouse or your mobile phone. And you can also get a very smart matching mouse mat. I'll put a link to the full review up there. Now next, I'm going to go with the very snappily named compressed air capsule stroke electric air duster and vacuum from Hoto Design. Now in 20 years of working at my desk, I've not once thought about vacuuming it, till recently when I started using it for filming. Both my desk and the products I'm filming need to be nice and clean and not covered in dust, biscuit crumbs, dandruff and stray hairs. And having bought this thing, I've realized it's actually quite useful having an ultra portable vacuum cleaner to hand that you don't have to drag across from the other side of the house. And look, this one is surprisingly sucky. And that means I can use it for all sorts of other things too, like pretending to have a stroke or getting the bits of crisps out of the bottom of the cup holder in my car. And it's not just sucky. If you stick a nozzle on the other end, it'll do a pretty good blowjob too, which is useful if you need to inflate a lilo or something. Next, I have the ultimate ruler for anyone who uses technical drawings or who makes stuff. Apart from just looking desperately cool, this ruler makes measuring a lot easier, especially if you're trying to work out the real life dimensions of a resized drawing. Again, I've made a separate film about this Neo Ruler, and I'll put a link up there and in the description below. 
Now to charge all your desktop gadgets, you'll need a charger. And for this, I can recommend the size well B of chargers. It's the Hyperjuice 245 watt charger, which means it can juice up two laptops, an iPad and an iPhone simultaneously. And with up to 100 watts per port, it'll charge things very quickly. Now, whilst it's hard to get excited about the design of a charger, I do like this one's minimalist lines. I take it with me wherever I travel and I use it to charge computers, camera batteries, desktop vacuum cleaners and my ruler. Not that I take my desktop vacuum cleaner on my travels, you understand. Now, to connect your charger to whatever it is you're charging, you're going to need cables. And God, aren't they a curse of modern day living? Bloody rat's nests all over the house. Anyway, here's a neat answer. I think it's the first magnetic USB charging cable. And that means it'll do this. There we go. Neat, huh? And if you've got metal in your furniture, it'll stick neatly to that too. I'll put a link to buy these cables in the description below. And if you use it with the code KOLYT10, you'll get a 10% discount too. Now, if you're working from home and you run your own business, the chances are you don't get enough exercise. I mean, who on earth has time for exercise when you're trying to run a business? My next gadget solves that. It's the Walking Pad Desk Treadmill from Kingsmith. And the amazing thing about this thing is that it is possible to walk and work at the same time. As long as you don't try and go above about three and a half kilometers an hour, and you don't try and do too much with your mouse. I've done a full review of the walking pad. I'll put a link up there. Whilst you're on your treadmill, you might like some music to help the miles pass. But computer monitor speakers, like the ones this is playing on now, are notoriously crap. You could, of course, buy a pair of computer speakers, but if you're working at home, I'd very much recommend the Sonos Move instead. It's a portable speaker that plays music from your mobile phone or streaming service, but will also connect directly to your computer via Bluetooth. I'll just switch it over. Just takes a second to connect. There we go. That sounds so much better. So I keep mine behind my desk there, and then in the summer I use it in the garden at the weekend. The Sonos Move was one of the first things I reviewed nearly four years ago. God, how time flies. And I'll put a link to my excruciatingly wooden performance up there. Next, I've got a surprisingly useful gadget, which I think really does improve the experience of Zoom calls. The problem it solves is that your webcam is at the top of your computer screen. So when you look at the person you're talking to, it looks to them as though you're looking down their neck. This webcam, which is called the Itacam, is mounted on a suction cup, which you stick in the middle of the screen right next to the person you're talking to. And ta-da! Now you're looking at them right in the eye. Lastly, I've allowed myself just one slightly pointless desk gadget. It's the Novium Hover Pen. Now this thing won't do anything for your writing, it is just a Commodore Garden biro, but in its magnetic stand it does look kind of cool. Look at that! It just floats there in the middle. And unlike Newton's balls, I do actually need a pen from time to time. So there we have it. I've put links to all these gadgets in the description below. Some of them are affiliate links, so if you buy using the link, I'll make a modest commission, which goes towards feeding my children, or a new yacht. So thanks for that, and for watching. And until the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.